What is up guys, I hope you lot are all doing great and welcome to a Manchester United career mode. Now it's something that I've never ever done on my channel and this year, I thought of all years, I want to do career mode because I do play it offline a, a little bit towards the end of FIFA and I do watch a little bit of the career mode before the new FIFA actually comes out. So I thought, you know what, my club's going through a pretty rough time right now. So why not let it be me to bring her back to the top, you know, so let's just jump straight into it. Also, if you guys are looking for some cheap, safe and reliable coins, go check out u7buy.com. The link is down in the description. Make sure to use code CURBS to get yourself a 5% discount. Ooh, okay. So I can select like a style of manager. What should we go with? I mean, this Donny has a beard and he's got a suit with a badge on it. So, you know what? We'll, we'll go with the Donny with the suit. Just put my name in there. And obviously, we're just going to call our surname Curbs. Just because, you know, this is this is what we do out here. And we are English as well. You know what? I need to change my hair. My hair's a bit clapped on this, not going to lie. Tone and complexion. Yes, I am nowhere near that. Like, oh, God, no, I'm not that pasty. Jesus. We'll just go for something like that. The camera makes me look whiter than I actually am. All right, so leave me alone. Can I change facial hair? Okay, ears I don't really care about. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Imagine if it... Oh, no. Oh, no. What have I done? <laughs> oh, dear. Why, why, why have I done this to myself? Oh, no. Hey, I mean, that's kind of not... The back and sides, okay? That, that, that That's kind of right. I just don't have the length at the top, all right? Hair. Facial hair. Yes. Let's go with... Oh, chin. There you go. <laughs> that is me. There you go. Sorted. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Out, out of top. Uh, I want it opened. Wait, no, where's my badge? There we go. We want the badge. We, ha we have to have the gym. We have to have the gym white tie, okay? We're going for the gym white tie. It's got to be done. Okay, we're good. Let's just start. I've, I've had enough of doing that. And, of course, we are doing the Manchester United career mode. Ollie has been sacked, which I really don't want to happen in real life. But, hey, I'm taking over for now, okay? So, we have high domestic success, high continental success... Wow, brand exposure critical. Hey, imagine my shock when Ed Woodward's in charge. That, that's critical. The financial is low and youth development is high. I'm a man United. It has to be high. Right, okay. Let's set this up correctly, okay? We're going to put it on the highest we could possibly can. The half length will be on five minutes, so the games don't take about ten years. We're going to disable the transfer window because the transfer window is finished. It's done. I don't want international offers. I'm very, very glad that I can turn that off. We're going to be in Sterling. And yes, of course, it said, of course, we're going to enable that. Right. Okay, so we're cooking on gas here. So we've got match on ultimate because we want it to be as hard as possibly can because the team that I have, it's going to be hard realistically, isn't it? So let's jump into it then, shall we? I'll tell you what, yes, we will uh, we'll, we'll advance to invites for this one. So we'll go with. Hmm. Well, I, I tell, you know what? We'll go for the most prize money. We'll go to France and go get that money. Okay, we're in. We're finally in. Okay, so we've got the preseason tournaments and all that good stuff. Everything seems to be a bit quicker. We've got 167 million in the bank ready for January. Your boy's definitely going to need some uh, signings. That's for damn sure. So we've got shirt sales, our vision and expectation. Uh, what, what are you expecting me to do with this team here then? Right, so let's have a look at the review. So we're in the Europa League and they expect us to win it. The FA Cup uh, reached the final and the Premier League finish anyway for Champions League plays. Okay, that's attainable. I mean, the Europa League... Is a little bit of a tough one. Depends who we sign in January. But hey, I I'm actually happy with those objectives, to be fair. Let's go. Of course, if you are excited for the Man United career mode, make sure to leave a like right for me. That'd be greatly appreciated. And subscribe if you're new as well. And without further ado, let's have a look at our first team then, shall we? And we're looking like we're playing... I mean, so as of right now, we're playing like a 4-4-1-1, I guess. And I don't know how I feel about this, but... What I'm actually going to do... Danny James, mate, you'll go straight in. I'm sorry, Pereira, pal, but it's just not happening realistically. But we've got Wamba Saka, Lindelof, Maguire, Scott McSauce, Pogba, Lingard at number 10. Okay, I'm not really sure why we have Alexis Sanchez, but hey. Uh, and also Chris Morning. They really shouldn't be on uh, my team, but these... Okay. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to switch out Marrero. We're going to bring in Twanzebe. Hey, Mason. What a man. Hey, five-star week foot as well. Let's go, EA. Okay, but I'll tell you what. I'm actually happy with how that lines up is so far. But I'll tell you what we'll do. I'm going to skip through sort of the tournament phase because uh, realistically, no one really cares about that. And uh, I just want to get into the Premier League season. So we're going to we're gonna sim. Ha-ha. Right, new team sheet. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just call it second. Nice. Okay, so we're going to take out Tony. 
We're going to put in Mason Greenwood. Uh, then we're going to bring in Juan Mata at number 10. Pogs for Matic. And then, you know what? Jimmy Garner. Get yourself in there, lad. Dan James. And bring in Tahith Chong. Rashi, you can go out for Angel Gomez. Hey, as long as I have like a completely separate team, then I am happy with that. Okay, we'll put Youngi there. We'll swap him out for Dallow. Center R's spare. We have Eric Bailly. And we have... Oh my god, I'm actually going to have to play Phil Jones. Kill me now. Oh, actually, no, I'm not. No, you know what? I'm going to literally go off real life. Bye. Sorry, mate. You're injured, pal. So there we go. That's what we'll keep as a second team. Where you go Greenwood, Gomez. Uh, is there anyone else who I really should be starting? Nah, because I've got Greenwood. I've got Chong. I've got Gomez. I've got Twan Debe. We've got Garner in there as well. And we're also going to play uh, the second team during the preseason. So let's just see how they get on realistically. So we'll play the second team at the start. Oh, hello. Hey, yeah, what up, Dave? Oh, this is definitely new. Greeks boss, on behalf of the whole team, I'd like to give you a warm welcome, man. You know, hey, thanks, man. Um, Hey, let's... Really happy to join, lads. I'm really excited about what we'll achieve together. You know what? There you go, Dave. We'll increase your, your morale, mate. Okay, okay. That was, so, that, so that's something new that we haven't seen before in career mode. I, I quite like that. But this is my first ever career mode that's on my channel. So, yeah, something new. Okay, so we've got Monaco. We're going to be playing the second team. So we're going to try out the youngsters. So Mason Greenwood, Chong, Gomez, Garner, Twanzebe. They're all in there. Let's see. Okay. Well... I was kind of hoping that it would let me see the game, but okay, I'll take the 3-1 win. Mate agree with Dallow and Pogba on the score sheet. Hey, we'll take it. Let's go. So it's not the same anymore. You, I, from what I've gathered just there, where it just completely skipped by itself, it just where it does it doesn't actually sim the game. It just automatically completes it by the look of it. Yeah, it does. Okay, that's a bit of a shame because I'd like to watch the game and talk over it. But no, okay then, EA. I see how it is. But hey, we take the we take the L, our first ever L. But it is in the uh, preseason, so who cares realistically? Hey, I'll take Mason Greenwood on the score sheet again. That you love to see. And then as soon as we jump over to the Sporting Lisbon game, let's see. Okay, so we're the home side technically in this one. But can Greenwood get on the score sheet yet again in the European Shield? He actually can as well. What the hell? Greenwood scoring three and three. Uh, yeah, I just know I'm going to get a message, like, or something in a minute. Boss, I really want to start the next game. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, tournament prize money. Oh, nice. 1.8 million. Oh, let's go. Okay. And now we're into the semi-finals of the European Continental Shield against Torino. So, let's see how we get on against them. Can Greenwood score four in four? That's the next question. Oh my god, he actually can as well. No way. Mata, Greenwood, and then Danny James coming off the bench as well. 3-1. We're into the final of the European Shield. Let's get some more transfer budget in there. And we're against Leon in the final as well. An extra 3.3 million just for that semi-final match as well. Holy macaroni and jeez. I'll tell you what, I need to get... Uh, yeah, look at them. They're all uh, they're all a little bit dead right now. So uh, we're going to we're gonna switch it up. We're going to go for the main team in the final. I kind of want to play Mason Greenwood in this final as well. So I'll tell you what I'm actually going to do. Sorry, Lings. But I'm going to take you off for Mason Green. Yeah, I'll tell you what. We're going, to play, we're going to play Greenwood number 10. We're just going to try that out. See how it pans out and go from there. But uh, we need to increase the squad morale just a little bit. But we're at home. because we've got De Gea, Wambasaka, Lindelof, Maguire, Shaw, Scott McSauce, Pogba, James, Rashi, Greenwood, and Martial. Okay, can we win the European Shield? First bit of silverware. Hey, <laughs> yes, we... Look at that again. Bro, Mason Greenwood. Let's go. He's a little goal-scoring machine. Absolutely love to see it, but... And hey, we will take winning penalties as well. So we win the European Shield. First little bit of silverware. So you absolutely love to see that. And now we can actually get into playing the games in the Premier League. Congratulations on winning the final of the European Continental Shield. Going deep into the tournament gave us great exposure and the entire organisation will benefit from it. But looking forward to seeing you in action once the season starts. We hope the extra transfer funds help you bolster the squad even further. Well, unfortunately, mate, we don't have a uh, transfer window, so that's a bit of a yikes. But all we're looking forward to now... It's the first game of the season against Chelsea. Now, of course, in real life, we won that 4-0. Is that realistically going to happen against Ultimate, which I've never played against the AI before? Probably not. So, uh, yeah, this should be fun. Oh, mad. Okay, so pre-match press conferences. Before specific matches throughout the season, club will be hosting a pre-match press conference. This is a great opportunity to discuss to the media about the team's objectives. Oh, okay. 
You know what? I've never done this before, so why the hell not, you Thank know? Thank you all for your patience. We're going to start taking questions now. Bad. Oh. Man United's excellent run of form in pre-season have put fans in a state of constant euphoria since your appointment. Um, how does the pre-season impact the squad ahead of the first competitive match? Ooh, we're working hard every day. Ooh. You know what? I'm, I'm going to do it. Yeah, we're focused on winning the game, okay? I mean, this would be a hell of a lot better if there was actually some voices behind the thing, but okay. It's a start, EA. I, re I respect it. Can the team handle the pressure to qualify for the UEFA Champions League? You best believe we can. Qualifying is essential. We know this. We are Man United. We need to be in the Champions League, okay? Has to be said. Young started the preseason strong. Should we expect to see more of him on the pitch today? Oh, no. <laughs> see, my inside says, uh, f hell no. But then, um, you know what? Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll just be nice. He sets it, he sets an example for, for the young players. See, that makes him happy. It gives something decent for the squad okay, guys, as well. So there you now. go. You hey, that's actually sick. So the, the, the press match conferences and all that sort of stuff actually, like, works now. That's pretty cool. Whoa! Look at this new layout for the Premier League as well. Let's go. Oh, you know what? I'm actually too gassed. Let's get into it. I want to see if anything's changed. So we've got Man United against Chelsea. And I'm going to watch the whole way through. Because I've never seen, like, the pre-match build-up or anything like that. So I'm actually excited to get started, you know. I probably should. I should do more career modes at, at every FIFA. Okay, here we go then. Let's have a look. Is it any different to previous FIFAs? It is a fixture in English football that carries genuine resonance, no matter who's at home and who's away. In this case, Manchester United are the hosts, Chelsea the visitors, Old Trafford the venue, and it's live on EA TV. Football anywhere in the world, Old Trafford in Manchester. My name is Derek Ray, and with me okay. for commentary is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. Hey, Georgie B, let's go. Days on the football calendar than opening day in the Premier League. It is Manchester United taking on Chelsea. Wait. Well, thank you, Derek. Brilliant atmosphere here today. All that hard slog in pre-season. All aim for this game. First game of the season. All that preparation is for this. It's for this 90 minutes. Focus on it. Get the three points. Move on to the next one. Looking forward to it. It has the music as well. Mad. David De Gea between the posts. Harry Maguire plays alongside Victor Lindelof in central defence. And Anthony Martial is the main striker today. That's cool. I rate that. That's good. Damn. Our team looking strong. Right, I had a Chelsea set up. Oh, why you got phones out for? Oh, man. Oh wait, can you hear them saying like good matches stuff as well? Okay, so they're playing Kepa, P, Christensen, Rudiger, Alonso, Oof. Kovacic, Kante, Jorginho, Dam as a strong midfield as well. Willian, Giroud, Pedro. Oh wow, no Mason Mount or Tammy Abraham. Oh wow, Brooks is going to be absolutely mega fuming. Manchester United on the back of what was a season of ups and downs when Ole Gunnar Solskjaer moved into the job, replacing Jose Mourinho. They went 12 league games unbeaten, but they couldn't really keep that flame burning. Hey, that's my job. Well, there's no doubt when he went into the job, he did have an effect. The bounce effect of a new manager plus Solskjaer. Here we go, Man United against Chelsea. We're on the way. The players' form dropped off. And some of those players have paid the price. Oh, mate. I just want to have a good star here, to be honest. I don't know why, but I feel like it's really weird that they don't have um, Martin Tyler. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure that, that I, I may have looked at the setting or something like that there. But I just want Martin Tyler to tell me, and it's live. Willian, no, Willian, go away, please. I don't need this in my life right now. Shory boy, yes. Love to see it. Oh, no, it's cool. Oh, dear. Oh, Mason Greenwood. Hey, my boy. Let's go. Come on, Mason. Big as. Big Edson. Oh, no. Come on, Slabhead. Ah, uh, Dave. Dave's got it all day long, mate. Oh, Scott McSauce. Lovely. Tony, you're away, son. Go. Oh, no. Oh, really? No. Stay on your feet, lad. What are you doing? Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, then. Spider. Get there, son. 
Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, good hands, good hands, Dave. Difficult. Oh, that ball over the top, like. Oh, oh all right, Pedro, calm down. Oh god, okay, okay then. That's just a bit of a good save. 16 minutes in, and pressure is on. Oh no! Oh my god! This is actually how the <laughs> this is actually how the game went. Nice out wide first, Jamesy boy. Use that pace, son. Oh, look at him go. Use that pace, lad. Swing her in. Greenwood. Oh. How's he missed? How's he missed? Oh, that is so close, man. No. Oh, mate. That would have been a perfect time to score as well. We actually just scored just past, like, the 18th minute, if I remember right, as well, with a rash of penalty. So, damn. Feels bad, dude. Oh, oh, Kepa, that's a bit wayward, isn't it, pal? Pressure's on. Oh, Scotty, mate, you've got to be... Oh, Jesus, we are in trouble. Oh, Giroud! So I have to say, we've got to away with that one. He should score, but he doesn't. Go on, Danny James. James. Right, let's go. Let's build an attack. Jamesy boy. Oh, wait. Oh, James! He's missed! Ooh. I'm mega fuming. Oh my, what is that? Oh dearie me, what is going on? Look, I'm even, I'm mega fuming. Oh, Tony. Oh. It's a Rashi. Oh, just go in the net, please. Oh no. Oh yes, slabhead. Go on, my son. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Oh, it's a banging tackle, Scott McSook. Okay. Well, it was a good tackle. And that will do it for the first half here. Right, so we're in a half time. It's a bit unfortunate right now, but uh, yeah, we, we, I really should have scored in that first half, not going to lie. So let's get into the second half and hopefully get our first goal, shall we? We are indeed, mate. Let's try and get a goal this time then, boys. Oh, Wambasaka, get there, son. Yes, Aaron. Love to see it, lad. Ooh. No, not like this. Oh, Maguire, I absolutely love you. What is that pass, bro? Yes, Scott McS That's not a foul. Oh, nah, referee. You disgraceful human being. Oh, come on, oh Jesus, what's going to go on here, then? Oh, all right, then. Oh, oh okay. Oh, that was a bit close for comfort. Oh, Tony! Oh, he's missed it! I've literally just tapped the button there. You know what? I'm going to have to bring Mason off here. Oof. Oh, Mateo Kovacic and Bakayoko. Bakayoko's coming on. And then my change will come up now as well. Like, Mason, you've done bits here, lad, but I need a bit more quality going forward. And I need Jaylings. Come on, son. Do be proud. Like, Martial just doesn't move, bro. Oh, Jaylings! Put it in! He's missed! Bro, why is it so difficult to score? Oh my days! Right, pass it through. Pogs. Lingard. Right, I see you, Scott McSauce. Play Jamesy! Right, go! Go, 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 go! Oh, you're kidding me! No! Yes, Maguire, go! Marvellous defending. It might be perfectly set up for the counter attack, you know. Well, you do feel oh, one Tony! Martial! Oh, I just can't. I can't be bothered. I can't score. Fam, I can't score in this game. Like, I actually can't. Right, we're in the dying stages. We have to do something. And we have to do it now. No one cares if Giroud's going off the pitch. Lingard. What? I'm on the attack! That's it. The referee As if we've drawn nil-nil in the first game. Oh, my God. I've had so many chances, but I just couldn't put them in the back of the net. Oh, mate. Damn, that is super disappointing to draw nil-nil. Oh, great. Let's go to the post-match interview then, shall we? Let's quickly check this out before we end the first episode of the career mode. Uh, is the draw on your debut at Man United good enough for result to please you? Hell no. We should have won the game. Um... You know what, we'll, we'll go for this. We'll, we'll increase the morale, all right? So we should have won the game, but I can't finish, so it's my fault, all right? So, you know. 
Uh, looks like we didn't get to see Young out there today, despite his solid start in preseason. What's the reason for it? Um. Oh, actually, need to keep training. I went with an alternative lineup. Uh, I think I, I wanted to go with a more familiar lineup today. Yeah, we'll keep we'll keep uh, we'll keep Youngy happy. I mean, he was hella happy before the game, and now he's just content. Jesus. Uh, Wabasaka has shown signs of improving his game, even if the team only managed to grab one point. Did he do it? Did he do enough today? Um, you know what? We'll praise the resilience. All right. Well, we'll make sure Wabasaka's happy. He did play. To be fair, he was sick. I actually quite enjoyed using him. I have to buy him an ultimate team. To be fair. Cheers. Thanks for the question. No worries, pal. Okay, let's quickly jump to the office, and then that is where we will finish the episode for today. So. Uh, I've been in pretty good form lately, and I'm feeling good, so I hope you're not going to bench me for the game against Chelsea. It was dis disappointing not to play, boss. You've been charging all that, but I thought I would have had a good game. Oh, jeez. I, uh, I could really mug him off. <laughs> uh, okay, you know what? I'm going to say squad rotation is important. And you know what? He'll respect that. You know, he's an old... And there you guys have it. That is where we are going to finish the first ever episode of the Man United career mode. So we've done all of our sort of building the manager... We've drawn our first game of the season with Chelsea when realistically we should have won the game. But the next episode we'll have a few more Premier League games in there as well. And potentially the first Europa League game as well. So if you have enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like rating for me. That would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know down in the comments section what signings I should think about getting in January. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.